welcome my political friends of the interwebs. <laughs> well, you know, apparently some of you did not like the um, the Halo music, <clears throat> the choirish stuff. Uh, so I thought I'd do something just a little different. Um, I'm still working on the intro, guys. Anyway, uh, like I said, welcome my political friends of the interweb. This is going to be a fairly short uh, video. Uh, but I do uh, want you to please, please, please share this video. And uh, share it to your Facebook. Um, I've got a couple of interesting uh, places that I want to tell you about real quick before I get into today's business. Uh, first is I started a Reddit uh, for political vlogs. Um, I got sick and tired of sharing my political stuff to Reddit only to be attacked by a bunch of left-wing mongrels. <laughs> I mean, they're really... Re Listen, Reddit is a... I'm going to do a whole video on Reddit, but Reddit is, for the most part, um, heaven and hell. It, it's Trollville. It's it's a nasty place. If you remember the, the first Star Wars, uh, when... Um, when Luke and uh, Obi-Wan were in that seedy kind of bar, uh, they were looking for, uh, well, they ended up finding Han Solo. They were looking for somebody to, to transport them, a smuggler. Um, that bar is Reddit. <laughs> it's just filled with some, some nasty people. Having said that, um, truthfully, Reddit is probably the number one reason that I have personally had so many videos go viral, honestly. Um, but the politics end of things has been tough because Reddit is, um, it's a liberal place. It's a hardcore socialist slash communist place. I'd like to make a difference in this world. And, and, uh, to be honest with you, I would like, uh, nothing more than to have my political Reddit, uh, do well. So if you are the type of person who likes to share, uh, political videos that you run across, or even better, if you're one of those people like me who like to make political videos, um, there'll be a link below to my political Reddit. Share your videos, share other political videos that are um, that you find interesting. And um, it will uh, help all of us. <laughs> because if you put, if you share a conservative view right now, uh, uh, with the exception of my new little, little corner of the universe, uh, if you go to Reddit and you share a political uh, video that is uh, more conservative, you're going to get shredded. But see, the nice thing about opening, having your own little own little world of, of Reddit uh, is that nobody gets to do that shit because they get booted by me. <laughs> you know. So if you bring that hardcore liberal nonsense, it ain't going to work out too well for you. It isn't going to work out any different for, for you than it would be for me in the rest of the Reddit universe. Uh, but anyway, so the, check that link out. Also, speaking of links, I started a new Facebook uh, Voodoo Politics, and it is where I'm going to be primarily putting my Facebook politics stuff, political stuff. Um, my Colonel Richard Hunter has, over the last year and a half or so, become more of an more of a place for for my filmmaking and photography type stuff. Um, just one of those places. I've got other places, but anyway, there'll be two links below: <laughs> one to my Facebook, and one to my Reddit. And if you could support me on those, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, enough of that nonsense. Um, I want to talk to you about C.J. Uh, I think it's C.J. Parsons or is it C.J. Pearsons? Um, he's that young. Um, he's that young uh, black kid from Georgia, who uh, is was was apparently was in past tense a conservative. I just want to get his name right. Um, C.J. Uh, Pearson. Uh, a really interesting kid, um, pretty smart for, for his age, but uh, he started out as conservative and seeing the uh, liberals for what they were, um, and, but somewhere along the way, he, he got slipped a Mickey. He, he accidentally drank some Kool-Aid, and now, but although he's not a, a, a Democrat, he may be worse, because I, I think he went full retard. <laughs> I think he went full retard. He is now a Bernie Sanders supporter. Now, as most of you know, Bernie is a self-proclaimed socialist, although um, he really is a communist. I mean, in, in his wildest dreams, he could get away with that. He knows in, in the United States it hasn't been conditioned uh, by the Democrat Party enough to where he can get away with calling himself a communist. Um, so he basically goes with the title of socialist, and he's proud. He's very proud of it. Here's a guy who's a senator from Vermont, um, who, when he got married, 
several, several, several years ago, he, he decided to honeymoon in the Soviet Union. Now, people that are in my age group know how messed up that is. The fact that, that, you know, somebody that actually thought that it would be a good move to a honeymoon in the Soviet Union, uh, behind the Iron Curtain, um, was a good idea. And now he's running for president. It just blows me away. It does. It blows me away. I know a lot of young people are in him. So that's the thing. There are a lot of people that have lost their minds over CJ uh, kind of moving in that direction. But here's the thing. Um, to a young person, I, they, let me put it this way. There's an old saying. If you're young and you're not a liberal, then you have no heart. If you're older and you're not a conservative, then you have no brain. I mean, it really is that simple. Most young people um, go through a wide range of feelings and beliefs. I mean, listen, he's a teenager. He's a young teenager, too, 13, 14 years old. Um, his hormones are hopping all over the place. His mind, he ba listen, children that age are basically mentally ill. <laughs> they really are. Um, you know, he was raised in a, in a Christian home with Christian values, and we all know that the, the Democrat Party is, is no place for a, a true Christian. Um, at all. In fact, uh, it's, it's, it's seemingly more and more uh, a place for, for Muslims, but uh, they're definitely tolerant of, of Islam. They've never been tolerant, uh, at least not for a very long time, uh, tolerant of, of Christians. So I think early on he, was, he gravitated towards the party that was more accepting to his faith and, and his beliefs of Jesus Christ. Um, and that made sense. And I think that there were other things like uh, the Second Amendment that he, you know, he, he, he appreciated for what it was worth. He was exploring the Constitution. And you know what? Outstanding for anybody uh, young, old alike. I mean, I, I encourage people to read the, the Constitution. Um, but the thing of it is, is that Bernie Sanders is appealing to young people. He really is. It's a very kumbaya thing. And um, now I will tell you honestly... Sadly, there are people in the Republican Party, and, and look, I, I got a lot of redneck in me. I got a lot of hillbilly in me. You know, my daddy was born and raised in a holler. Okay? I spent a lot of my youth in that holler. Um, but, you know, for a young black thinking person, it can, I'm sure that the Republican Party can be daunting because there are some ignorant things that are said, unfortunately. Um, I'm not claiming that the Republican Party as a whole is racist at all. Um, but <clears throat> having said that, I'm sure that CJ had, had to put up with some ignorance, no doubt about it. Um, and that's the sad truth. And you know, the, the Bernie Sanders of the world, you know, all inclusive because you know, that's the way communists are. They're all inclusive. Come on, <laughs> you're gay. No problem. You hate God. You're, 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 you think Jesus should have been killed. No problem. Come on. You know, um, the truth of the matter is, is that he's where he should be. Uh, most 14 year olds should be exploring that world. And then once he figures it out, and I think he's smart enough to, he'll come back. He'll come back to the conservatives. And um, yeah, now, here's the other thing too. The, the GOP is an absolute mess. Um, it, it is. It's an absolute mess. I, I want to do a whole video on that. The GOP is an absolute mess. It's a disaster. Um, and he's smart enough to have seen that too. And I'm sure that that was off putting to him. But anyway, um, for those of you who are just freaking out, stay. Uh, for the, for those of you who are just freaking out about CJ um, moving to the dark side, if you will, just understand he's he's a 14, 13, 14 year old kid. Um, I know it was awesome to see a young black kid, well spoken, slamming Barack Obama. I enjoyed it. In fact, I I've got it on my greatest hits. It's my favorite videos. Uh, He's got about half a dozen of them where he's just tearing Obama into shreds. It was fun. But in the end, he's still a teenage kid. That's really what he is. And he'll come through all kinds of different, or he'll go through all kinds of different changes until he figures it out. Um, in the end, I do believe, though, that his faith will stay solid. And in the end, he will gravitate back to the party who is that is more um, accepting of Christians. Because... We all know, should know, that Christians are under attack or under siege. And uh, it isn't good. It's not a good thing. So, anyway, that's it. I don't know. I'm going to be coming back here uh, shortly with a my my uh, uh, thoughts on the GOP. So, you might want to come back for that. That'll probably be tomorrow's video. But, anyway, see ya!
Oh wait, there's no music. Damn it. See ya! <laughs> I'm working on it, guys.